Shakur was born on June 1971 in East Harlem, Upper Manhattan, New York City. While born Laysane Parish Crooks at age one, he was renamed Tupac Amaru Shakur. He was named after Tupac Amaru II, a descendant of the last Incan ruler, who was executed in Peru in 1781 after his failed revolt against Spanish rule. Shakur's mother Afeni Shakur explained, I wanted him to have the name of revolutionary indigenous people in the world. I wanted him to know he was part of a world culture and not just from a neighborhood. Shakur had an older stepbrother Moprim Kamani Shakur and a half-sister Sakiwa Shakur two years his junior. Shakur's parents Afeni Shakur born Alice Faye Williams in North Carolina and his biological father William Billy Garland had been active Black Panther Party members in New York in the late 1960s and early 1970s. A month before Shakur's birth, his mother was tried in New York City as part of the Panther 21 criminal trial. She was acquitted of over 150 charges. Other family members who were involved in the Black Panther's Black Liberation Army were convicted of serious crimes and imprisoned, including Shakur's stepfather Matula Shakur, who spent four years among the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitives. Matula Shakur was apprehended in 1986 and subsequently convicted for a 1981 robbery of a Brinks armored truck during which police officers and a guard were killed. In the 1980s, Shakur's mother found it difficult to find work and she struggled with drug addiction. In 1984, his family moved from New York City to Baltimore, Maryland. He attended 8th grade at Roland Park Middle School, then 9th grade at Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. He transferred to the Baltimore School for the Arts in the 10th grade where he studied acting, poetry, jazz, and ballet. He performed in Shakespeare's plays depicting timeless themes now seen in gang warfare, he would recall and as the Mouse King role in the Nutcracker Ballet. At the Baltimore School for the Arts Shakur befriended actress Jada Pinkett, who became a subject of some of his poems. With his friend Dana Mouse Smith as beatbox, he won competitions as reputedly the school's best rapper. Also known for his humor, he could mix with all crowds, he listened to a diverse range of music that included Kate Bush, Culture Club, Sinead O'Connor and U2. Shakur began recording under the stage name MC New York in 1989, that year he began attending the poetry classes of Layla Steinberg, and she soon became his manager. Steinberg organized a concert for Shakur and his rap group Strictly Dope. Steinberg managed to get Shakur signed by Atron Gregory, manager of the rap group Digital Underground. In 1990 Gregory placed him with the underground as a roadie and backup dancer. In January 1991 Shakur debuted under the stage name Tupac on Digital Underground under a new record label Interscope Records, on the group's January 1991 single Same Song. The song was featured on the soundtrack of the 1991 film Nothing But Trouble. The song opened the group's January 1991 EP titled This Is An EP Release while Shakur appeared in the music video. At the request of Steinberg, Digital Underground co-founder Jimmy Chopmaster Jay Dright worked with Shakur, Ray Love and Dyes, a DJ on their earliest studio recordings. Dright recalls that Shakur did not work well as part of a group, and added this guy was on a mission. From day one maybe he knew he wasn't going to be around seven years later. From 1988 to 1991 Dright and Digital Underground produced Shakur's earliest work with his crew at the time Strictly Dope. The recordings were rediscovered in 2000 and released as the Lost Tape circa 1989. Afeni Shakur sued to stop the sale of the recordings, but the suit was settled in June 2001 and re-released as beginnings the Lost Tapes 1988 to 1991. Shakur's early days with Digital Underground made him acquainted with Randy Stretch Walker, who along with his brother dubbed Majesty and a friend debuted with an EP as a rap group and production team Live Squad in Queens, New York. Stretch was featured on a track of the Digital Underground 1991 album, Sons of the P Becoming Fast Friends. Shakur and Stretch recorded and performed together often. In November 1993 Shakur and two other men were charged in New York with sodomizing a woman in Shakur's hotel room. The woman Ayana Jackson alleged that after she performed oral sex on Shakur at the public dance floor of a Manhattan nightclub, she went to his hotel room a later day. When Shakur record executive Jacques Haitian Jack Agnant, Shakur's road manager Charles Fuller, and an unidentified fourth man apprehended and forced her to perform non-consensual oral sex on each of them. Shakur was also charged with illegal possession of a firearm, 
As two guns were found in the hotel room, interviewed on the Arsenio Hall show, Shakur said he was hurt that a woman would accuse me of taking something from her. As he had been raised in a female household and surrounded by women his whole life, Shakur was unable to post the $3 million bond to keep himself free until sentencing, so he surrendered himself to authorities at the Bellevue Hospital Prison Ward in New York City on December 1994. At the time he was still recovering from injuries he received on November 30th, when he was shot five times and robbed at Quad Studios. In January 1995 Shakur was moved to the North Infirmary Command on Rikers Island in the Bronx. On February 1995 he was sentenced to 18 months in prison by a judge who decried an act of brutal vicilance against a helpless woman. Death. On the night of September 1996, Shakur was in Las Vegas, Nevada, to celebrate his business partner Tracy Danielle Robinson's birthday, and attended the Bruce Seldon vs. Mike Tyson boxing match with Suge Knight at the MGM Grand. Afterward in the lobby, one of Knight's associates spotted Orlando Baby Lane Anderson, a Southside Compton Crip and told Shakur he had tried to rob them earlier that year. The hotel's surveillance footage shows the ensuing assault on Anderson. Shakur soon stopped by his hotel room, and then headed with Knight to his death row nightclub Club 660 Do in a black BMW 750L sedan part of a larger convoy. At about 11 p.m. on Las Vegas Boulevard, bicycle-mounted police stopped the car for its loud music and lack of license plates. The plates were found in the trunk, and the car was released without a ticket. At about 11.15 p.m. at a stoplight, a white four-door late-model Cadillac sedan pulled up to the passenger side, and an occupant rapidly fired into the car. Shakur was struck four times once in the arm, once in the thigh and twice in the chest with one bullet entering his right lung. Shards hit Knight's head. Frank Alexander was not in the car at the time. He would say he had been tasked to drive the car of Shakur's girlfriend Kadada Jones.